Hi everyone, Stuggy again, and now I will show you a very cool new feature, which is the model viewer. The model viewer is useful for showing you the important NPC or object for that current step. You should notice a new yellow button on the small frame that you can toggle on and off. Pressing it will turn on the model viewer on. It has a couple of buttons to rotate the model, and you can place the model viewer anywhere you want on your screen. You can close the window by clicking the close button, or the best way to do it is by pressing the yellow button again to keep it off. The model viewer will automatically update itself for each step and show you what the NPC or object will look like for the current step. This is a really cool feature and I really enjoy playing the game with it on. It helps me learn the NPC name and what they look like and also helps me to instantly recognize what I'm supposed to look for. What better description on how to find something than a picture of what it actually looks like in the game? As you can see right now, I'm finding each quest giver and knowing exactly what they look like before I even find them. This is one of our biggest new feature, because to make this possible, we had to add thousands of additional NPC and object information in our guide. With this new feature, you will probably never have to read the quest information again. With this, it's pretty much guaranteed that it's going to reduce your leveling time. I find it the most useful when I'm looking for an item or an object, because at some time, even the yellow sparkles that Blizzard provide is not enough. Like in this example, you can see the model of the door that I'm looking for. Or what the crate looked like in the next quest to find my item. And also which NPC I'm supposed to kill. Some steps could contain more than one model. For example, in this quest, it is showing us a couple model of an NPC and a barrel. You can click the left and right page button to flip between the models and the tooltip should provide you with hints on what these model means to you. Very rarely, you might notice that the model is not centered or displayed correctly. Unfortunately, this is not something that we can fix on our side, but there is additional control that can help you view the models better. By using your mouse scroll button, you can zoom in and out, And if you hold the ALT button while scrolling, you can move the model left and right. And if you hold the SHIFT button while scrolling, you can move the model up and down. And that's all there is to it. Well, I hope you're going to enjoy this feature. I'm certain this is going to help you with your game and have more fun. Alright, this is Doogie, and thank you for watching.